Uh, Mr. Sumant, what are some of the most common legal documents that startups need to prepare when fundraising? And what should founders know about each one of them? Would you like to throw some light on that? While you are introducing, I mean, just about the concept itself, you hinted about few documents. So those documents, in short, again, I'm reiterating more or less. And so those important documents for startup, or for that matter, most of the transaction when it starts, are non-disclosure agreement, the term sheet, the sales subscription from shareholders agreement, which is often called as the investor investment agreement. And sometimes it is divided like the share subscription agreement and share purchase agreement separately and shareholders agreement, of course. So these are the broadly three, four documents which are which are usually entered into. Getting into the specifics of these documents, non-disclosure agreement is relevant. I'll not take, Sandhya, I'll be... Uh, possibly in how many minutes do you want me to answer this? For five minutes maximum? Or yes, how? yes, five yes. under five minutes. Okay. So in the NDA, what is, what is the purpose of NDA? NDA is to, to ensure that the price sensitive informations are handled appropriately. So the, the confidential information, price sensitive informations are discreetly used, restrict, used restrictively and only on a need to know basis. It's not, there's no carpet bombing happening. It, it has to be contained and used for the specific purposes. So it's broadly NDA. Right. Then you go to Tom Sheet. Tom Sheet is the document, which is the mother document or the umbrella document based on which the subsequent documents are fine-tuned and made. Like your sales subscription agreement, shareholders agreement for that. To it, the, those documents emanate from the Tom Sheet. So term sheet, although half of the time may not be binding, sometimes it's binding, sometimes it's not binding, but this is a very crucial document for the times to come because this will shape your future agreement. This is fleshed out yeah. later. So what are the important elements or the covenants of a term sheet? The board and the management rights how will the board be manned? Like how many directorship? How then who will who will be the director and other things? Many a times, some of those challenges we will possibly discuss later. Let me just firstly cover what are the important uh, covenants. This right. that board and management rights, affirmative rights we all know, reserve matters and all what we call. He's he's right. He's he's not diluted at a subsequent low valuation. So anti-dilution rights, preemptive rights. I'm not diluted because of the additional issue of shares. So uh, to ensure that I, my, 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 my rights are proportionately there, this is another uh, clause, preempt preemptive right. Then transfer restrictions of the shares like promoter lock-in, right of first refusal, right of first offer, Right. Long right. Then exit rights. Exit. How 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 would one exit? Which is very important. Through third party sales, IPO, buyback, put option, drag along rights. Then call options, liquidation preference. Another important thing is event of default provision, non compete, non solicit provisions. So these are some of the important provisions. Which, which has to be necessarily there in a term sheet. Reps and warranties, of course, indemnity. Right. And exclusivity. 